there's got to be something that drives them and wakes them up and know that they have some skin in the game. If not, you know, their if their work ethic doesn't match your work, work ethic and you have the money in the game, then it makes it very difficult to have a good partnership. And then on top of that, um, just going with somebody that's completely different and, and complements your you know what you're really good at and what they're really good at um, if you're exactly the same then there's really no reason to have a partner you might as well just do it yourself 60 percent of the time it works every time yes i completely agree so, i totally agree and uh, I, I think it makes for a great discussion uh, you're obviously an eternal optimist you're someone that speaks in, in the tongue of when hard stuff happens you learn from it uh, and you wake up with gratitude. To me, that's eternal optimism. So you you have this mindset, and you your one of your favorite quotes ends with, "I want to be happy." So I'm curious, are you happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm super happy. I mean, there's obviously with anything, right? We all go have we all have bad days. We all have things that yeah. are a little bit tougher than others, and um, you know we have relationships that don't don't always have the best days. Whether if it's marriage or if it's friends or if it's business relationships, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, I couldn't be in a better position in life. Uh, beautiful wife, amazing kid. The house that you know we could want for right now is is uh, more than we can ever ask for. Right, I'm very fortunate for the roof that we have over our head, and my family's all healthy. Uh, Mom, dad have their own business. My brother has two very successful barbershops here in Charlotte, so they're close. I mean, there's there's really nothing I could ask for um, more of other than you know just being able to to have a little bit more freedom because of the growth that I'm in right now. Um, I just have to be fully invested in that. And I know that'll pay off in time. I, have, I do have a ton of freedom. I can do whatever I want, but I choose to, to invest a lot of my time and energy in the things that I'm doing because I know that um, there's a bigger play. But yeah. you know, I'm, I'm fortunate to be able to spend a lot of time with my, my child, with my wife, and do things that I feel like, you know, somebody working a, a typical nine to five might not be able to do. Yeah, what, when you say freedom, you've said it like a few times now. I'm thinking you're talking about time freedom, or what, what do you mean by freedom? Yeah, definitely time, right? Definitely yeah. time to um, just just to let go a little bit. Um, you know, I, I've been doing this for ten years now, and I, I, part of it's my own fault. Like my mom told me the other day, she's like, "Why are you starting another company?" Um, it's it's part of my own fault. I just have that itch and that. I can't quit and I always want to do something new and continue to grow and continue to, yeah. to add value to the team. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 I do it to myself. Right. I mean, it's not nothing. I do it for a reason. Um, but yes. then there's days where I'm like, man, I'm overwhelmed. I'm tired. Um, and I'm fortunate that I, I can easily take that, that those days and, and recoup. But, um, yeah, I can just, I can already have envisioned, when Hopkins sells and when some of my other investments sell, that I will have so much freedom that I can now not be in the business of growing and creating a business, but more of investing in people and ideas and things that I love um, and then mentoring. And that's a whole different set of freedom of time. Like I have all the freedom in the world that I want right now, um, but you know, I'm still in, in the weeds per se of, of building these brands. And there's a lot of time and energy that goes into that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying to come up with a question here that's different, that's not redundant. So I, I've, I wrote down a couple. Uh, so I'm going to try to zing you here with a couple of them. And I, I'd say this, that uh, we've talked about challenges. We've talked about your mindset and how you respond to challenges, gratitude, learning. If you stay in this theme of learning, is there something you're intentionally trying to learn right now? Whew. I'll tell you, franchising is a different animal, right? So I, I, I've been very successful with a lot of businesses. I've, I've had a lot of businesses that didn't work out and I failed in. Franchising is a different animal. So right now I'm pulling in all the information that I can pull in in the franchising world. And there's so much. <laughs> oh, for the audience out there, we just had a malfunction. My internet just crashed. Thank you. And hey, moment of gratitude here. <laughs> we get to reset. So you were saying that there's a lot that goes into franchising, a lot to learn. And yeah, if you could just take it from there, Rich. I've been just working with, with my fractional CMO over the last year, little over a year, right? I mean, our, our marketing guide, things that we did just day to day because they were just things that we did, right? We knew it, we had, but now we have to create this guide that actually shows our franchisees exactly everything we do and everything that we need them to do. It's almost a hundred pages, right? So it's very detailed. So like, Franchising is, is a different world when it comes down to really understanding your, your own business and getting everything out of your mind and into a, 
a guide or a document um, and being able to to repeat it. So just learning a ton, right? And bringing on a, a president who's been in franchising for 15 years. Um, the things that I learned from him, I'm super excited for. And, you know, just, you know, what he's learned in the last 15 years, the mistakes he's made, I want, I hired him for those mistakes because now I can avoid those mistakes and I can grow faster and get to an exit faster. Um, so it's pretty cool to, to have those, those things to look forward to. And, um, yeah, there's so much that I, that I have to learn in this world. Yeah, of, of course, of course. Very humble, awesome answer. I wonder if, because we know that all mistakes are That's actually right. great opportunities to learn. So I don't have regrets for having made mistakes because you can't learn without them, right? But if there were a mistake that you made, the darn it, I wish I could go back and actually erase that one because that one, ah, I wish I would have done it a little bit differently. Is there any regret or mistake that you like to go yeah, back and try again? Not necessarily against? regret, but definitely learning. Like partners are tough. I think if you're going to have a partner in business, you really got to, there's a few things that I always recommend people. Like, what do you think about partners? It's like, you guys both have to have skin in the game. Um, I've had a few partners where I've invested the money and they've come on with sweat equity and I've had to buy them. Um, with bringing in a partner, both have skin in the game. I mean, there's got to be something that drives them and wakes them up and know that they have some skin in the game. If not, you know, their, if their work ethic doesn't match your work, work ethic and you have the money in the game, then it makes it very difficult to have a good partnership. And then on top of that, um, just going with somebody that's completely different and, and complements your, you know, what you're really good at and what they're really good at. Um, if you're exactly the same, then there's really no reason to have a partner. You might as well just do it yourself. <laughs> 